guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome Literally to, though. Welcome to today's video. We're headed out for something fun, for a full day of fun. It's Saturday, we always do our biggest adventures on Saturday. And Sunday we have a busy weekend planned. So good morning and welcome to today. You already showed me. Don't look at the mess of my house, you she guys. Showed me. She look at you're missing something. There's a dog sitting there that needs to go. Yeah, tomorrow is. Oh, wait, I have plans. I have plans for Father's Day. <laughs> Uh oh, my camera is on. Too weak. You're so fast. Uh, She's like, I dare you to pick me up. The dog that is not allowed on the counter, on the couch, is always on the couch. <laughs> Gabby's watching the old haunted house video that we did. Gabby is into all kinds of haunted. All kinds of haunted. So this year is going to be the year that Gabby and I and whoever else we can drag with us are going to be going to the haunted. The haunted corn maze. There's a haunted corn maze kind of close to us, and we've never gone because I do not like scary. I but think we should go alone. All right. Well, my sister one goes. One by one alone. Oh, she wants to go like alone without a group, like by mm -hmm. herself through it. But she can go me. by herself. I'm not going. Sophie and I don't like it, but I told Gabby I'd go with her. Promised her. It's at night. Oh. So today, get two hundred dollars. Like get sixty bucks. Okay, so I'm laying in bed this morning, minding my own business, answering your guys' comments, loving you guys, spending time with you guys, and Sam sends me a message. And it says, tax sale. Well, I don't know where it is. What do you mean? Put it in your GPS. I don't know where it is. You sent it to me. I know. I didn't send it to you, I tagged you in it, and now I don't know where it is. Price is averted. Sam sent me an ad for a, for a local, uh, tax sale horse tax sale starts tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Saturday June the 19th and Sunday June 20th and Monday June 21st I'll be open more hours but it's a start lots of new used and used horse equipment and supplies so we're going it's under a big white tent go in there you guys we're stopping at the bank to get cash and Gabby and Sophie says get out $200 she plans to shop with my money because yeah, I don't have any more money I mean I have two dollars in tooth fairy money so yeah when you're 11 and you spend all your money all the time. Holy heck, you guys. I see people walking down the, up down the road with really nice, really nice girths. Let's go. Let's, yes, get out. You're going to have to find some stuff for your horse. Tax sale, you guys. Let's do it. I may be a little competitive when it comes to tax sales. Let's go. Sophie's looking for a saddle pad. I told her if you find something you like, do not put it down. Grab it. Grab it and show it to me. I think we need more of these because we can never find one at the barn. What color do you want? You want pink? Gabby, you want this? It's floppy, but I like it. It's cool. Wash gloves. I think I can get enough money, you guys. Do you want one of these for at the barn? Because we always run out. No? Okay. What about a wash mitt? A wash mitt? Oh, I love it. What is that? I don't know. need size. Get the size. Oh, no. There's no size. It's beautiful. Oh, I'll have to ask them the size. I love it. Oh, my gosh. These are my favorite brand. I'm gonna need to go back and get more money. Large. These would fit me. What are these? Are these the converter things that we need? No. Those aren't. What are they? I don't know. We don't know. So they have saddle pads over there. Let's go to this side. Okay, go over to that side. Oh my god, I can't carry everything. I might have to go back to the bank machine. So this is a tack bag. Like there is everything here. You name it. They have it. They have show shirts. Those are for short boots? It's cool. Alright, so if you found the section she's been dying for, she wants an ogilvy. It's a weird color. 30 bucks. Eve. Hey, is this a show pad? That's a cute one. I don't know enough, you guys. I don't know what everything is. Socks. Girths. What size is that? What size is that? That was so much stress. 
tax sales are so much stress so i i know i know a lot of stuff now you guys like a lot of stuff and i did not know hardly any stuff there some of it's western and some of it's dressage let's see so got so we got a new uh boot bag you already have a boot bag laura it's true this one has a bag on the back of it so she can put her helmet there but what she wants to do is store all her boot cleaning stuff and that, is that what you do with yours gabby do you store, what do you store in the bag on your boot bag? I store my tack cleaner and spurs. Stack, tack cleaner and spurs. And so I think Sophie wants to do that too. And it was only $12. I forgot to change all my batteries last night. Our battery's dying, you guys. Um, I bought two of these. At the boys' barn, we are always looking for one of these sweat scrapers. And we've in the past, we've had so many of them. I don't know where they are all, where they all went. So. I got two of these, one for Sophie and one for Gabby. Or yeah, maybe, I got to pick it. Yeah, or maybe we'll leave one at the girls' barn. I like it because it opens up. It's not tied at the bottom. And I know you can open the other one, the metal one that we have, but this is, like, really cool. Got another hairnet because you know we're going to be needing those this summer, and they're easy to lose. And the last thing we got, I, there had a lot of bits there. I wanted to go in, in and buy bits, but I had Gabby come and look at them, and none of them were ones that we needed. But... Who remembers the day I fell off of Stella and broke my pelvis in seven spots? Who remembers that? You guys remember that? I was wearing my favorite breeches of all time, my lucky breeches. They were carrot winter breeches. They were soft and amazing and I loved them. They were the probably first pair of breeches I ever bought for myself. Actually, maybe not. And the day that I went to the hospital, they had to cut them off of me. And it was hard, but I didn't care at that point because I was in so much pain. So they went in the trash. They had that pair there again, and I was about to buy them. But then I saw these ones that are a summer pair and very similar, and I think they look amazing. And they were $60, which is a really good price for carrots. And so I bought them. So uh, Sophie's probably gonna try them and see if she likes them. And if not, then I'll keep them for the fall when I ride Penny. So that's it, that's all we bought. We bought two of these, a hairnet, a boot bag, and some breeches, but it was worth it. It was fun, fun to get back out there looking at, at tax stuff. They had some fly sheets that I was carrying around thinking I'm gonna buy this, I'm gonna buy this, but they were all size 76. We only have one horse size 76. And I was thinking, I'll just make it fit thin or I'll just squish Storm into it. But I decided like why waste my money and buy something that's not a perfect fit when I can just go to the store and buy them one that's a perfect fit. You guys, we're having a problem. We're out here with the dogs playing. This does not look like our cat, but it is she our looks cat. She shaved. She looks shaved and the face is so different. Is that our cat? I mean, she was meowing like she always does. And she was looking for us. It, she acts like Lexi. She does not look like Lexi. She looks older and how could she change in just 24 hours, though? She's heavy. Molly See, she's off. got a scar, a laser scar. Molly off. On her belly. Because Lexi... Are you Lexi? She's Lexi. She doesn't feel like Lexi. Her eyes look different. She was meowing to me. She's like, I'm here, y'all. Is it? This cat feels heavy and, and different than Lexi. I said, Lexi, you're so different. Go ask Gabby. She's probably in there. This can't be Lexi. Is it Lexi? I don't know. It's friendly like Lexi. Did someone take her to the room and play some shaver? That's weird. She's ruined. How do we not recognize our own cat? Like, I literally maybe haven't seen her yesterday. And she's changed that much. Turns out Molly is really good with little pets. Huh. Are you hunting? Are you hunting, Miss Lexi? Are you okay? Now it looks more like her. Well, like when you're holding her and petting yeah, her. Yeah, she like just grew. Got shaved. Yeah, and she just grew so much. She's got her summer coat on, that's all. And she has like a. She's heavy. Yeah, she's grown. She's grown. So Sam is over here stringing more fence. Which I love to see a man working, you guys. Like, that's the biggest thing for me. A man who's working all the time, being busy. So basically, he took the string out between these two fields. Do you guys see? No string. 
so the girls can go in the shelter or they can go all the way down there they can run although penny can't run penny don't run okay sam, he sam says it's a mistake because now they're just eating the grass that they like and we really need them to eat all the grass so we have a question we're confused there's some of you guys out there that i know will answer this for me bell mel mel bowel for example so now that we open up the two big fields, we really need them to eat that field. Are they gonna like, do you think they're gonna go over there and eat that field? Or you think it was a mistake and they're just gonna stay in the field they like with all the short grass? Because that would be, that would be bad. Or should we just trust them to know what they need and eat what they need to eat? Is that what we should do? Comment below, should we control what they, they eat or should we allow them to roam? have a bigger space and make their own choice on what to eat. We are in Walmart now because we are late to get Sam's Father's Day gift. We got him one thing, but we're gonna get him another thing because he's deserving, right Sophie? He's a deserving dad. We don't show gifts on YouTube because then he knows what they are because he edits it. I know, he knows what they are. That's the problem. I love those. They're cute. Can we get something? We can finally buy books again, you guys. I don't care. That is a good one and a great price. 200. All right. It's got a burner. Yeah. Ooh! I need the burner. I can cook fish. All right. I like it. Yeah, Sophie could. Sophie's like, I can cook on this. All right. Pack it in my cart and I'll pay. This one? Yeah. Or what about this one's. Six ninety eight. Oh, lots. It's got a smoker in it. Three forty eight. This one's bigger, fancier. All right. Just get him That's a one. double one. Just get him what he wants. It's cheap. Okay. Let's I get just him. need a plain Jane. So All right. Let's get plain Jane. Your dad wants plain Jane. But seriously, this is like a double barbecue, and it's only three dollars and three hundred and ninety eight dollars. So cool. We already got two seasons. All right, let's get it. Throw it in my cart here. Can you put it in my cart? Yeah. How are we gonna? The one that's black or the one that's silver? What do you like? Uh, what do you like, Dad? All right. Bring it over. There we go. Father's Day in the making. So now we're looking for a patch for our pool. Because you guys know, I have to, we have a leak. And there are no patches, which is really bad, you guys. Really bad. So, so, guys, we came to this beach, this new beach that we've never been to before. And the girl, we've been here for hours, so we're here. I got Gabby and Kaylee, and all of a sudden, there were boys. We met boys, you guys, we met boys. And you know what's really weird, though? about boys is that they don't like horse girls. Do you guys get that same problem? They don't like horse girls? I haven't boys? had that problem, you except haven't? for one. Okay, well anyways. What one? We met horse boys, like literally horse boys. So I'm gonna show them to you guys. You guys wanna see the boys that we met? All right, so we met Nathan and we met, no, we met William and we met Nathan. And Nathan lives on a horse farm. How many horses do you have? We have about um, 17 to 20. Right now we board half of them and half of them around. 17 to 20 horses? And do you ride horses? Uh, no, I don't ride horses. So you're not a horse boy? No, I'm not a horse boy. But you knew that they were horse girls. Oh, yeah, I just called it. How did my, you know? My intuition. How did you know? It's He's like, are natural. you horse girls? My natural intuition. But are you used to hanging around horse girls because oh, yeah. of him? Yeah. Oh, so Definitely. you know horse yeah, girls. I know all the horse, horse girls. girls. You know all the horse girls. Yep. All right. Well, anyways, <laughs> that's it. These are the boys we met today at the beach. Thanks for being in our video. So this is what they've been doing this whole entire day. They've been playing. They've been playing volleyball. Uh-oh. Playing volleyball and swimming playing vault whoops playing volleyball and swimming don't you know that you're beautiful